So I'll wait a minute to see if anybody comes on here before I uh, run by you my little idea about what's going on with Roseanne and Fox TV station. Um, every article I have looked at, every single article I've looked at, that says Fox is picking up Roseanne is written by some what appears to be blogger who's stolen some satire art article about how Fox is accepting of racism. And they quote them, and then you go and look at the quote, and it's like some crazy thing nobody would say. So, I don't necessarily know that Fox is picking up Roseanne. However, I'm not supportive of what she said, particularly, okay? But I'm, I support her right to say whatever it is she feels she wants to say. That is our constitutional right, freedom of speech. You do have to deal with the consequences of what you say. That is also part of the whole situation. She lost her show because she said something that was inappropriate. That is public shaming. Why aren't the people who do other inappropriate things like Madonna saying she's going to blow up the White House or um, the whole severed head thing or the whole orange orangutan thing that's been going on? Why are those things not shown? Why are people not shunning things that are said by leftists? We shun them, but publicly, on the news, these things are not shunned, okay? A leftist can say that Trump looks like an orange orangutan, and the news picks it up and doesn't say anything bad about it. It's not racist, it's not derogatory, it's not hateful, blah, 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 it's fine. A comedian can hold a Trump-esque severed head up in the air, or say they want to blow up the White House, and that's just fine. But Roseanne voices her opinion about somebody, and that's racist. It's horrible. Okay, so I defend anybody's right to say whatever they want to, but they have to deal with the consequences of what they say, period. I wouldn't walk up to somebody and say something really derogatory toward them, even if I felt that way, unless I was willing to back it up with my own ass. In other words, I could say, you are one ugly M <laughs> to somebody. Chances are I might get hit. Not everybody's got self-control, okay? So, it is my choice at that point to say to somebody they're this or to just shut my mouth and walk away and think to myself, eh, whatever about them. And that's fine. She said what she said. I defend her right to say it. I don't necessarily agree with it or disagree with it. It's not something I would have come up with and thought of myself. That's fine. Now, onto the Fox News thing or the Fox Network thing. I have not seen one single article today that has been on the, the net that is real, okay? Every single one of the things that have been about Roseanne's show that has been on the net has been based off of one or two satire articles where they take a quote of something that supposedly was said by a Fox News person. The first one wasn't even the right guy, the second one was they changed it after they figured out they had written it wrong. And it was some really, really racist sounding stuff from Fox News. Supposedly a quote of the person that was the CEO of the company. And then the article just writes about that. It's fake news. Okay? So either they're doing it for one of two reasons. Either they're doing it because they want to make sure that Fox sees the analytics on, on Google about how bad uh, the idea would be to pick up the show because there's so much going on hubbub-wise about it. Or it was put out there by other stations to see what the hubbub would be if they tried to pick up the show. But in any case, the better question is what, uh, what is all this hubbub hiding? What is going on right now politically in the news that's not being heard because 
of Roseanne Barr. All day today, on my feed, the entire feed, Roseanne, 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 I'm just scrolling. And it's every third or fourth thing is her. And then it's like a couple of old things that I've seen before. And then maybe one or two new things that are just, eh, nothing exciting, nothing really meaningful. It's just basic internet junk. Usually with divisive titles that it says, blah, 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 this happened. And then you get in the article and it's not what the article says. They're just trying to hook you to come into the article. So, what are they hiding? What are they hiding behind this whole Roseanne thing? What do they hide behind any of these other crazy things that they put out? Like, the state of South Carolina is hiding things. Their budget, the 2018-2019 budget, has a rider in it that states I don't know what the number of it is off the top of my head, but the writer states that if you have a family member, neighbor, close acquaintance, friend, anybody in your community that says you're unsafe to either yourself or the community with a gun, that the police can come and confiscate your gun. So all it takes is your next door neighbor realizing you're a prepper, thinking that you're being, uh, you know, crazy with a gun. And they can come, they can report it, and the police will come and confiscate your weapons. So it, that law is only on the books for this budget. But why is it a rider on the budget? Because it couldn't pass any other way. They ran it through and tried to pass it, and it wouldn't pass. So, so they ridered it onto the state budget. Go look it up. This means that if your sister-in-law, for instance, or your brother, or your neighbor, or your ex-wife, or your parent, or whatever, thinks that you're a little weird because you have a couple of shotguns, and a couple of handguns, and you have some ammo put up, and you like swords and weapons and knives and camo, and da 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 and you like to go hunting, and whatever, and they are anti-gun all they have to do is report you and the police will have to come and take your weapons away from you that is the new law okay that's gun confiscation plain and simple that's all it is and they put it as a rider on a bill so you know I want Roseanne's show to stay on. I enjoyed Roseanne's show years ago. I enjoyed it when it was on and it's been on for the last few months. I like it. I wait for the new episode to come on and I watch it on Cody. Okay? I enjoy the show. It's cool. And I would like for another station to pick it up. Because I'd like to continue to watch it. And personally, I don't care what an actor or actress says. And this is one of the biggest things that's going on in this whole, you know hubbub about Trump and everything, all these actors and actresses come out and they have these liberal fucking agendas and they're posting it all over the place and we're supposed to give a crap. We're supposed to care what these actors and actresses have to say. Just entertain us and shut up, okay? I don't care what your political opinion is. You ruin your career with a political opinion. If you want to become a politician and you're an actor and actress, don't expect to have a active uh, acting career after you've stepped into politics. Because 50-50 chance somebody's going to hate you. Okay? It's simple as that. There's always going to be some sort of division. There's always going to be a liberal side and a conservative side. There's always going to be people who like things the way they are and people who want to change things another, to another way. So, to label yourself as an actor or actress, as any particular thing, if you want to keep in the field of acting, and to start being extremely verbal about it, and Roseanne has done that, and I have watched her, and I love her, I love watching her talk about politics, but if you're choosing to talk about politics, stay on the topic, keep talking about politics, and if you're going to go back to acting, the world is way too divisive. 
the, the world is like a bunch of backstabby teenagers, okay? And they're going to look for any reason at all to pick on you. The world is full of bullies. And these people are supposedly anti-bully. But the world, the leftists, are nothing but a bunch of bullies. Trying to manipulate people into their way of doing things because they want to control everything. They want to control your ideas. They want to control your political system. They want to control everything and manipulate it into a manner that fits what they perceive as being their utopia world. Well, I'm sorry. Their utopia world and my utopia world are completely different worlds. I do not want to live in a leftist utopia. In any case, acting... I had a friend who was in wrestling years ago, an uh, ex-boyfriend of mine. And he would get up and do his acting job and the wrestling thing, and sometimes he played a mean guy, and sometimes he played a nice guy. Until he found out what he wanted to play. You know, it's a, acting is acting, it's a career in something that is artistic. It's like painting or making a craft of some kind. If you want to do that job, do that job. If you want to be a politician, be a politician. If you want to support something, support it, but don't use your fame to promote an agenda that not everybody is going to like and then expect there to be no ramifications. You can say whatever you want. I support your right to do that. But don't expect it to always turn out good. I just want, for once, things like the orange orangutan comments and the severed heads and the other horrible things that the left says about Trump to be spoken about in the same manner as Roseanne's comment. When we start balancing this out, when the view can no longer badmouth our president on li uh, live television every day and keep their show. They keep their show. It's no big deal on ABC. They're like, oh yeah. But they're going to kick Roseanne off of her opinion in a tweet. And an apology was given. You know, there's no balance to it. And that's where I'm, I have an issue with that. So we don't know if Fox picked the show up or if any station is going to pick the show up. They'd be fools not to because there are a lot of people out there that would love to see the show and it is a very, very good show for profit. People like it. It's been making a lot of money for years and it's still making a lot of money when they brought it back. They'd be fools not to hop on board. Somebody. But that doesn't mean that they're going to and that doesn't mean that they have. And all these articles that are out there that are quoting supposed Fox CEO, blah, 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 are BS. And I have yet to see one that is real. So, that's all for now. You have a good night. And, let me reach my phone. I turn this off.